Welcome to Concept Craft. Introducing the Accounting Arena Book, your ultimate guide to mastering the fundamentals of accounting. Embrace the world of accounting knowledge at your fingertips. Act now and get your copy of Accounting Arena ebook link is available in the description below. Keep learning. Keep growing. Happy learning. Now let's begin our today's lesson. Difference between IFRS and GAAP. IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards, and GAAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, are two different sets of accounting standards used in different parts of the world. While they have the same objective of providing guidelines for financial reporting, there are several key differences between the two. Geographic Scope IFRS is used by over 120 countries globally, including most of Europe, Canada, Australia, and many emerging economies. GAAP is primarily used in the United States. Principles versus Rules IFRS is based on principles and provides a conceptual framework, allowing for more judgment and flexibility in the application of accounting standards. GAAP, on the other hand, is more rule-based with specific guidelines for different transactions. Standard Setting Bodies IFRS is developed and maintained by the International Accounting Standards Board ISB, an independent organization based in London. GAAP is set by various standard setting bodies in the United States, including the Financial Accounting Standards Board FASB, and the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Format and Structure IFRS tends to be more concise and principles-based, focusing on the overall objective of financial reporting. GAAP is more detailed and rule-oriented, with specific guidance for different industries and transactions. Presentation of Financial Statements IFRS allows a choice between presenting financial statements using a single statement of comprehensive income or separating the income statement and statement of comprehensive income. GAAP requires the separation of the income statement and statement of comprehensive income. Inventory Valuation Under IFRS, Inventory can be valued using either the cost method or the revaluation model, which allows for upward or downward adjustments based on fair value. GAAP generally follows the cost method and prohibits upward revaluation. Research and Development Costs IFRS allows for the capitalization of certain development costs if specific criteria are met. GAAP, on the other hand, generally requires research and development costs to be expensed as incurred. LIFO, last in, first out, method IFRS prohibits the use of the LIFO method for inventory valuation. In contrast, GAAP allows the use of LIFO, which can result in different inventory valuation and cost of goods sold calculations. These are just some of the key differences between IFRS and GAAP. When preparing financial statements, companies need to follow the applicable accounting standards based on their jurisdiction or listing requirements. However, efforts have been made to converge IFRS and GAAP over the years to reduce the differences and enhance comparability between financial statements globally. Thank you.